All right, today I'm gonna show you booting DOS from a USB drive on an 8088 using a CH376S. Uh, 375B will work as well, but I, I don't think I have one to test. Uh, this is kind of like a part four of the videos on this board. So if you haven't checked out the other ones, I definitely recommend taking a look at those. They'll have more detail about the board. I don't want to keep covering the same stuff. Um, big thing here is uh, went through it and I found that the interrupt pin was uh, it needs to be inverted. So the next board I make, I'll make sure I run it up here through my LS04 there. Make sure that gets inverted. And that's going to affect the uh, keyboard port as well. So that's definitely the next step is the keyboard port, but I'll get right here and show you how this boots DOS. So I'll turn it on. Let's see if we get that USB drive in the shot there. Start an MS DOS. Now this is a 10 megabyte hard drive. Well, it's a one gig, but it's formatted with a 10 megabyte sector. So um, not haven't tried a large sector size yet. You see, it runs pretty quick. Let me reboot that. So it's gonna boot up. It's gonna start DOS. It's gonna start the auto exact. Set the prompt. And then it's going to uh, run DIR just to kind of show that it's capable of running other things. So there's the prompt, DIR. You can see it's loading the directory right in there. It, there's not really much lag at all. And it calculated the free space. There you go. Uh, obviously, this. Uh, screen the character for backslash is not correct um it's a chinese screen if you get if you get off the end of the ascii scale there there's not the extended it's like all chinese characters but there you go um like i say uh, definitely check out my other videos to get more information on this i'll provide a link to my website in the uh, description and a link to the bios so that you can see how to make these uh, modules work. Um, it's connected right to the data bus. It, there's no buffers or anything, which is quite handy. So yeah, download the BIOS, read through it. I tried to document it as much as I can, and I'll update the file as I make improvements. So thanks for checking it out.